Another day in lockdown, another project. Bit of an odd size, odd shaped circuit board this. Um, it's uh, LED based <clears throat> and the LEDs are these big IGB. They've got four legs on them, red, green, blue and positive. Now, one leg is longer than the other and we'll come back to that later on. I think these are 5mm aren't they? Anyway, they're quite big. Um, the rest of the components, we have uh, an IC that goes in the middle. We've got some resistors, I think they're all the same, I'll check that in a minute. Um, and we have a light sensor. So apparently this changes pattern and changes brightness depending on what the light is. So, oh, and there's a, a power pack here as well. So that's it. Uh, not many components uh, to actually sort solder on. Um, but what I will check first, though, is the resistors, because they look as if they're different. Right, so looking at the circuit board, we've got... Let's see if I can get that focus for you. We've got R1, R2, R3 and R4 and that's it. Just four resistors. So there's a, a pack of four resistors here and two on there. Now, no idea what they are. There's nothing marked up on the board as to the values. So I'm going to go with these four. So these four we're going to put on here. On the reverse side, there's no other markings. So just the four resistors outside, so I can only assume it's those four. Quick look at these um, LEDs. Um, the thing about these LEDs, if I can get it in focus, there we go, is one leg is longer than the others. Uh, stretch that out a little bit so you can see. There we go. So this longer leg is the plus. It's a plus 5 volt or plus 3 volt. Um, on the circuit board itself, when we come to solder these up, you will see that one of the connections is square uh, which is that one there so that is the one where the longer leg goes in into so that should go like that right obviously i can't um, flick the circuit board over uh, when I'm solving, so I'm going to have to do this in two stages. So first of all, let's get the resistors in. We'll just bend the legs out just to hold it in place. Right, that's them two done. And the last one. Right, so that will hold those in place. Let's just have a quick look at one of these LEDs. So now the long leg is a positive, that needs to go in the square hole. So we'll put that in. There we 
go. Okay, so I'll just pause the video at that point. Um, I'll add the other LEDs in and then I'll turn the circuit board around and we can have a look at soldering. So all the resistors are in. We've got two of the LEDs. I'll just put the rest in and be back with you in a minute. Right, so I've now turned the circuit board around. It's easy to get two of these now to solder up. So we've got the resistors here, the LEDs. <clears throat> so the next job is just to solder these up. Now you've seen me solder plenty of times before. I'll do one or two um, and then I'll pause the video and I'll do the rest. So, just grabbing the solder. And here we go. Now one thing I've immediately noticed is how close the, these legs are. Now that's that's okay, that's not uh, sort of bridge, but I can see that this is going to be a bit difficult on some of these, but let's do a resistor while I'm here. Okay, so <clears throat> that's not too bad. The resistors are going to be fairly easy to do. The LEDs are going to be a little bit more difficult because they're quite close together. But that's the first one done. So there we go. So look at that. Right, so I'll do the rest and I'll come back to you in a minute. Right, that's got all the soldering done for those so far. And yes, I did have one solder bridge, but that's not too bad. So let's pop it off here now. So there's only two components left is the, oh. I've missed a LED. Here we go, look, so I've got to do that LED. Anyway, so there's three components left. We've got the IC um, and we've got the um, light sensor as well to go on there. Just as a matter of interest, I wonder where the power goes. Hmm. Well, that's something to work out as to where the actual power goes. Where the power goes on these? Yeah, looks like the power goes on these two. Just have to work out which is which. Right, okay, so for the IC, um, the kit did not come with an IC holder, so I've got one out of my bits and pieces drawer. Um, same as before, um, the cutout so the cutout at the top <coughs> and on the IC or IC holder there's a cutout on there as well. I hope you can see that alright. So So we need to solder that in place just there. For that I'm going to use a bit of blue tack. There we go and that will hold that in place while I solder it up.
Okay, so we've got one little solar bridge, so let's just uh, get rid of that. Yeah, I'm just checking all those pins, they look alright, so that's okay, that's that one done. Off comes a blue tag, right. Okay, so that's uh, that one done now, so far so good. So I'll just pop on this other LED. Um, and then we can do the um, light sensor. Right, I've done that other LED. Put that on there. Last but not least is the light sensor. Now there's no right or wrong way this goes around. Just pop it on there. Leave it sticking up a bit. Now I'll just pop a bit of solder on there. There, let's got that done. And that's it. Um, the last thing we need to do really is to pop our IC on. The legs look fairly straight, so that's good. Uh, it's been kept well protected in that polystyrene. I'm just going to bend the legs in just very slightly to look like they're bent outwards. So let's just bend them in just very slightly. And in doing so, I've bent the legs a bit. Never mind. There we go. Right, again, don't forget cut out. Goes to the cut out, which is the top. And it is so it's the closest to the um, light sensor. There we go. Just put that in place, push it down so it's all the way in. There we are. Right, next thing is power. Okay, it's power time. So the kit comes with this little power bank. Uh, so it's currently set on, so let's switch that off just in case anything happens. Um, okay, so let's open it up. One, two, three, four and a half, four and a half volts. So we need to work out which is which on here. Um, so we'll turn the batteries on. And we'll hold that one. That. Come on. That one on there. That one on there. Nothing. So hold that one on there. That one on there, still nothing, let's try that again, there we go, okay so we've got some light, so we know that one goes to there, so let's just hold that in there for the time being. 
let's have a look. It's a, a big hole for a little bit of wire. Might be better coming from the back to the front rather than the way around. So let's just pop that there. A dab of solder. switch the power for the batteries off again just while I get this bit done right okay so it looks like we've got that done all right So I believe the pattern changes. Um, so the colours are definitely changing. If I bring my light up, I wonder if. Uh, Hmm, I wonder if you've got to leave it on for a while for it to change pattern. The colour's definitely changing alright. Colours are changing, so it's definitely working. I can chalk this down to a win because it actually worked. Uh, but there's supposed to be like a pattern going on. Anyway, let that run for a while.